Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a Ferris Wheel Press ink. This is one of their new ones. This is called Blue Yosemite Falls, and I'm a little excited about this one. This was sent to me by Ferris Wheel Press to review, and it looks like it's going to be a really pretty spring moving into summer ink. I love the artwork. It's always stunning. This time it's a little on the cute side. We've got some little animals camping out. I love how giftable their product packaging is, and then it's kind of like a special little treat when you get it for yourself. So the back says, Ferris Wheel Press fountain pen inks are water-based, evenly toned, rich and saturated, compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens used for your next stroke of genius. Got the Ferris Wheel Press National Park campsite sign, that's very cute. Getting to the ink. have the classic Ferris Wheel Press ink bottle. I love this just always reminds me of like a 1920s perfume bottle. So pretty. And for the label, Blue Yosemite Falls. I won't attempt the French. I'm sure it sounds very beautiful. <laughs> and I'm actually going to shake it a little bit, but I'm going to let it sit and come back to it. All right, it's been sitting. I'm going to tumble it just a little bit. And I am going to start with a spatter, get that drying, and then move to writing sample and a swab, of course. Today I have my Tumway River paper and onion skin paper for the sample today. Grab my syringe. It just takes a little bit and shove some of it back out, pull it up. Sometimes I leave the tip on, sometimes I take it off. It just all depends on what I think might work that day. And there's always some left. Pull back on that plunger, get a little bit more of a spatter to that. Okay, take the tip back off. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake it kind of get that ink moving back. There's no shimmer to this ink as far as I know. It looks like a standard really pretty blue ink. But between samples I like to get that ink moving again. I feel like it gives me a better representation of the actual color. For my pen today, I will be using my Sailor Stellar Black Hole Fountain Pen. This is one of my favorites. It's currently in pieces right this second. Um, this is going to be the Zoom Nib. And I'll just go ahead and dip that in. I don't think I got any. Try again. A little bit further. There we go. and get this capped real quick. All right, 
So this is the zoom nib. So as I write, um, depending on the angle at which I'm holding the pen, it doesn't differentiate with pressure, but just angle the thickness of the line will get wider or thinner. So I'm just going to slide this over for a second so I have a little bit more space. Ferris wheel press. Blue Yosemite Falls. So right now I've got about a medium line going. If I want a little thinner. It's a very light ink, very pretty. Seems to have a little bit of maybe a sheen to it. There's a little bit of variation. A little bit of purple going on. Moving to the onion skin paper. It seems to be pretty consistent between the Tomoe River paper and the onion skin that the ink on onion skin spreads a little bit more so you get a slightly fatter line. Right. It's very pleasant to write on. This ink is nice and wet. Going a little thinner with the line. All right. So in a side by side, it looks like they're fairly consistent color wise on both papers, despite this being a white and this a cream and two completely different textures. very pretty and very pretty over here as well I just get a little bit more of a creamy background that color is quite stunning I like this ink I think I'll be using this more artistically than for writing as it is a lighter ink uh, but I'm looking forward to trying out Maybe some sky or even water effects with that variation in there. I think that will be very pretty. It's very mermaid-like. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would love to know if you've tried this ink, if this is an ink you would like in your collection. The color is quite lovely. Perfect for spring moving into summer. Thank you so much for watching.